Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Morning. How you doing? Hey, look at my bench again. Didn't we just clear that together? What's really freaking going on? Oh, all right. Hey, I'm a busy boy, what can I say? Got a free charge you gave me yesterday. Yeah, it don't work. Hey, but the thought was there. Freaking right it was. I'm gonna be that neighbor. It's a beautiful morning out. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I don't think anybody's up yet. And I'm gonna start work on this trailer so I can get that piece of bar in. I found a piece of pipe, friggin' right I did. Like I said, I wanna cut this back, this back, and this back, and bring that right through and weld it, and weld it, weld it, weld it. It's gonna be hot as hell today, so I wanna get out here, do a little bit before it's too friggin' hot. So I'm sorry, neighbors. You're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. Let's try to cut this out without fucking it all up. Now that's gonna be tough, getting in there, man. Interesting. How am I gonna get in there, Captain? Well, I got that one. Easy. Egg. Well, that's about as far as I'm gonna get in there. We're gonna have to kind of think of a different design to cut the rest off. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Unless they just take a pair of doodads and just keep bending it. Well, there we go. I started to grind through it. I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers and just keep bending that. And hopefully she'll break out. That's a tight spot, but I think it's coffee time already. So we got that notched and we got this notched. What a pain in the ass that was. But now at least this tongue will go all the way back to this instead of just to here and stop. So it will support all these brackets and everything else. We gotta try to get it into the here now is the next question. Will she go, Captain? I'm thinking it will with some persuasion. Let's get something to persuade it, but as you've seen, I got the wires apart. We'll persuade it with a piece of pipe. Friggin' right we will, right about there. Ooh, -ee, she's tight. Just the way we like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Might need a bigger pipe, bigger hammer, Captain. So this is in my way. Oh, this trailer's just, what a gem. That's all I can say. Looks like it's a little tight right there. So we're gonna grab the grinder again. And we'll give her the old one, two, cover your face. She is gonna be mighty tight to get in there, but we're gonna get her in. One thing I don't own is a damn sledgehammer. How is that even possible? I got so much steel in my foot right now. Just so you know, when you're doing this kind of work, don't wear Crocs. I'm gonna be picking steel out of my foot for a month. Captain. All right, so there's no reason why that shouldn't pound in there. So let's just fucking hit it harder. All it's filled, hit it harder. It's working, baby. Oh yeah, you're tight. You like it, tight. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I'd like to get her down a little further if we can. I'd like to get her in a little further if we can. But I don't know, she's tight. Like, really tight. I guess we're just gonna hit her a few more times. Just keep whacking it. I'm gonna totally burn these wires down to the ground. I can see it coming. Now we can make noise together. That's as good as it's gonna get. That's as far in as we're gonna go. So I'm gonna get the welder out. And we're gonna friggin' weld this thing right after this mess. Not enough juice, spruce. Come on, baby. My poor old welder's had her days, she has. She needs some loving. Hello, Billy. How's it going? How are you? Good. It is. Take her easy. We're friggin' getting there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave that long. Well, there we go. We got the tongue all welded on, and it's mint. I gotta cut this part and put the end on, and I'm almost at a weld, or I would weld brackets going from here to here on this trailer to stiffen up even more. But hey, you know what? It's better than what it was 100 friggin' percent, I say. 
Friggin' right, I say. We'll get this wired back up and paint it up. We'll throw it back down, we'll do some measurements and see how far we gotta cut that off. So I'm gonna go have some lunch. Non-bread, of course, non-white. And we'll have to uh, see how she goes, Captain. Well, we got the underneath painted and we got the tongue cut to the length we need. Now all you can do is weld that on and I gotta go to Princess Auto and get myself an extension because that's not gonna be long enough. So we'll get an extension for that. What else do I need? Oh, I need another roll of welding rod. What else do I need? A million dollars. What else do I need? I don't know, we'll have to see when we get there. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of video. I know it's kind of in and out and up and down and this and that and the other thing, but it's hot out. Like I said before, we're slowly plugging away and getting her done. She soon will fit the blue golf cart, which will be perfect. And it's not that much longer. I think I got a foot and a half I had to extend it. That's not bad. So it still should be safe to pull without moving the axle forward. So. We're gonna take a ride, me and the daughter, go to Princess Auto, and get the shit we need. Well, so we moved her into the garage and we got the old Tungaruski welded on. We got the cord extended with a new end, and we got the brace that that sits on welded on. So technically all we need to do is extend this trailer out to here and then she's a longer trailer, which we'll probably freaking do. But I'm just gonna spray paint this thing up where I've done here and go from there Maybe even try the golf cart on it, but we'll have to see. Hopefully I get enough footage here for you of me fabbing up this tongue on this trailer, but it's done. Everything went well, and we should be good for not hitting bumpers on bumpers, if you know what I mean. Like cart on the trailer, turning a corner, hitting the bumper of the car. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Stay cool, stay healthy, love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.